yeah, ho, uh-huh, yeah, yeah, ho. Hey guys, Lola here, how are you doing? So I'm just coming on here quickly to show you uh, how I've been doing my crochet um, faux locks installs uh, for the last few years or so. Before, what you're used to on my channel is that I do the braid patterns all the way back, but from Breakfast at Tiffany's on Instagram and I believe YouTube as well, I have learned how to do individual installs so that you can do the putting your hair up, moving in every direction without that big bulky bit at the back because the longer my hair gets, the thicker your hair gets, the more of a bulky bit you'll have to try and hide at the back. So these uh, bundles, there's eight of them in packets that look like this, um, but these are out because I have washed them um, and soaked them with uh, diluted uh, uh, vinegar and water to remove the alkaline base so I do not have an itchy scalp. Uh, and then I've like hung them up to dry and there's 12 on each weft and they look like this, but these are 24 inches. Actually it's cheaper. It's like 32 pounds or like 30 pounds for eight bundles. And I usually only use about three or four. So bargain. These are goddess locks because as well as having the faux lock look, they have individual curls coming off them. Sometimes they will have two sets of curls coming off them. I'm trying to find one that has two sets. Yeah, this one has two sets of curls coming off them. And this is important whilst you're installing. Yes, so. But my current styling things, I change them every time I style. Silicone um, free miracle style leave-in dripment. It's just marshmallow root and uh, that helps it to be more um, slippy and by Shea Moisture. And this is not actually the product inside. So this is just a mix that I've got myself that I just needed a bottle. Um, and this has some really thin oils that will allow the uh, to thin out the uh, thickness of the Jamaican black castor oil so that it will seal in my hair really well for a bit. But... Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah, I kinda like this, yeah, I kinda like this. remix. I kinda like this, yeah, I kinda like this. Too sick. I kinda like this, yeah, I kinda like this. Let's go. I kinda like this, uh -huh. yeah, I kinda yeah. like this. You know it's better than sick, cause you don't like that. My flow is dope and unique, I know you like that. I drop this one for the streets, you know they like that. They got my issue repeat, hey yo, I like that. So that I can then I usually pick around. So one of these loops, I'll just use my finger to make it a bit bigger. Got two fingers inside. Then I will, I usually put the thicker strand, slide that giant loop now up. And now I can braid the very base to keep it nice and tight to the base. And now to do that for I only braid it about three or four times, and then I'm going to split the one strand and add them to two others to make it into a twist. Because if I was going to braid this all the way down, it would take forever. One and two. Um, detangling and taking it out would take even longer. Turtles up in the place, I know you like that. Fixing these one on this fish, hey, it was like that. We call it shots in the game, you know we're like that. Go with my stream and that name, so you don't like now that. Listen, Okay, so it's just to show you how I'm twisting down. So this is the lock and this is my hair at the root. So what I'm going to do is you twist in the opposite direction of the lock and that actually opens it up and then you can wrap it around your hair. Okay, so so untwist the little wrap around your hair. Don't untwist all the way down because you will lose the bounce back of the locks because the locks, these types, um, are actually curls. Um, that are just uh, clumped and really close together. So you can uncurl them and then wrap it around your hair really well. So just keep wrapping all the way down. And then when you come to wear your curl uh, for the goddess lock, it's hanging off. You can hold it. basically immobilize it so that it doesn't get in the way of you wrapping around that section of hair. 
and I just carry on as far down as I need to. My hair is folded up, but as you can see, the reason that I I twist, I fold up my hair is that if I carry on much further down, as the lock tapers, my own hair will be a bit too thick as well to go into the tapered part of the lock. Here we go with the second curl. And this way I can now just wrap it past my own hair, hide my hair inside, and then I just twist to hide it and then I let it go so that it then you see how much thicker it is compared to the original skinniness of the lock with my hair inside. Okay, there it is all done. Old school. <laughs> so, um, four packs used in total and, and uh, I don't know, three movies watched. And here is the piece de resistance, is that I can just pull it up into a ponytail or a bun quite easily because the hair is less um, full, as in normal fullness of hair, and it is very light. Oof. But yet, yeah, before I do that, I'm going to put some conditioner in it because it's quite staticky right now so I'm gonna go put some of my pro vitamin conditioner in it and call that a night thanks for watching take care little lady I ain't trying to be rude see I'm the real baby I'm just trying to see what it do look I spent this game kind of sick and meticulous my west on the mic not the